Hi there. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add tags to the Lenet Lab dashboard. The reason why you would add tags is to actually segment your LinkedIn database in the dashboard. And you can do that uh, for many reasons. Uh, primarily, you would do it for uh, subsegmenting the list uh, to only see a certain group of people, uh, to export that list, or to potentially send messages or emails. Let me show you how that works. The first thing you need to do is go to the extension um, icon, click on that, and then the pop-up would appear, and then you click on Dashboard. And please note, depending on how many uh, connections you have, it will take uh, longer uh, or shorter uh, to load. And just give it a couple of seconds for it to load, and once you're there, you're good to go. You click on Templates, and then you click on Tags. Now, in this particular case, I don't have any tags, so I can start adding them, and I can add as many as I like. Uh, so, for example, um, tag one and one of the things that I'm it's worth noting is that they're fully searchable these tags so we recommend using brackets or some other kind of character to define it so when you're searching it the words that are within that actual tag don't get confused with other search fields like names or company names or you know headlines or whatever else so we normally recommend put some brackets put it without spaces and it's easier it's unlikely to be in any in anyone's uh, uh, profile so you can add as many as you like so you can have, add hundreds of them and if you wanted to delete any of them what you need to do is just click on delete one useful purpose for this uh, tagging is for, uh, as I said, sub-segmenting your connections. And let's say you wanted to uh, tag a few people uh, or you know individuals with that particular tag, you can click on Add, and then the tags will appear, and you can click on them and save it. That's one way to sub-segment the list. Or you can use, uh, you can tag multiple people at once. So let me show you how I would do that with a few and I add a tag, but in order to do a multiple of them, you click on the add tags to select it. And then let's say you just tag one again, and you'll see that they're all tagged. And then the beauty about it is that if you start searching by the tag, you'll be able to only see the people that appear there. And you can remove the tags, individually or you can just click on add selected and by leaving it blank uh, you're automatically uh, untagging those people you can add delete you can have as many as you like and if you wanted to uh, tag a whole page or uh, a search result that you may have done let's say you search for a city and you wanted to say everybody in uh, China or in Beijing you want to tag them you can and the way you do it is by clicking on all of them that will select everybody in that page you can show selected so you can see that there's only 10 and you can add the tag accordingly. It takes a little longer obviously because you're doing a few more than one uh, at a time but it doesn't take very long. And there you go, they're all tagged. If you again wanted to delete that tag, you select all these people and click on add the tags and leave that blank. You can do that individually, you can do it in bulk it doesn't matter but again the reason why you would use tags in particular if you wanted to use messaging sequences you can say uh, people in New York um, and that I have a such and such other tag well you can just search for those tags and you know send messages to those people alone but uh, the purpose of this uh, tutorial was to just show you how to add tags and the features of uh, and the benefits of adding tags we can show you in other tutorials if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us at support at and we'll be happy to help. You.